hook it onto the hang wire first, and then bring it up and wrap it around the balancer. Okay. Like that. I think it would come off the belt wood in here. Probably. All right, let's get rid of the belt. I mean, you know, oh, it's got a half inch ratchet on it. Yeah, is it half inch or three eighths? It's half inch, give me that. Okay. Same thing. Tensioner. Ah, there it's coming. Ah, oh, beautiful. There it goes. So we make a thing that fits into this groove, mm -hmm. bolts on here, extends out, and has our pulleys. Now, it's to be noted that we have a pulley up here, which, what do you think this drove, an air compressor for the school bus? Yeah. And we could pull off that, but the hydraulic pump takes two belts, a lot more horsepower is what that's telling you. So if we ran it off that top pulley, if we had to modify that, we'd break that oh, yeah, belt. Oh that we? belt wouldn't last Okay. at all. Okay. You wouldn't get, a uh, week out of a new belt. All right, I trust you on that because it should be easier than doing this, but we'll do this. Ah, cool, 3.9. Look at there. I got a four inch stick of this stuff. See, I think it's this one. Well, let's put it this way. You get 50, 50 chance of being in the right uh, I thought it was right there. There's a hydraulic pump and a hydraulic valve. Door number two, that's, that's it right there. I would raise it at least so this is level with the center of the crank. Okay, so your instruction was to put it down there right side by side. Side by side. It's a lot easier to look if they're down there On side by frame. side. A little shorter belts, they won't slip near as bad. Okay. You don't have to run them so hot, hard, tight to make them work. Right, okay. All right, we'll do that. So, I just didn't want to work down there. Down there, but <sighs> I know. Uh, yeah, I'd rather be up here. But, yeah. Yeah, it's, so it's not going to mount up here. It's gonna mount down here. And we got a nice little frame for it too. And it's, it'll actually be higher than that, it's way up here. Yeah. So we wanna build something up off of this to get it up higher? But these are all rake bearing line, so when you set it on your engine bed down there, the the thing, oh, you, you take the drill, drill right straight down through. Oh, okay. Yeah. Instead of trying to reach in and, right, and right. guess. And guess where is that, yeah. These are all, that's why cool. I board them all together. Cool. This is the engine. This, this is the frame you built sitting on top of the frame that's in the boat. Right. And you're lining up the pulleys. Oh, yeah. So I, I know. It has to set an offset, so we'll put a uh, piece on here to carry this corner and, and this hinge. And that bully there lines straight up with the, the top side of this. Now this is a bigger pulley on the top than what that is, so it has to run right there. Are you going to use the, in, the inside too? Yep. Ah, cool. That way, if you want to put something separate on, yeah, we put a wash down top or something else there. On the, on the outside, and it takes a, not as much strain on the other other end. Right. There's our part, and it's got. There's a recess in here because there's a pin on the direct crankshaft that sticks through that. And it also is four inches OD, which happens to fit that right there. So registers very nicely. And then our pulley goes on and it just barely fits down over that. There it goes. And then there's just a little bit of a gap between the pulley and the, uh, the regular flywheel plate there, I guess. The, harmonic balancer and then our fancy dancy washer goes on and those two surfaces almost meet but don't so that'll still provide the clamping force and if I line up all the holes down there our new metric bolts will go all the way through the whole stack and into the uh, the crankshaft in so we'll see that should have saved us let's see we've got about $65 for the pulley 
and uh, maybe 10 bucks for the uh, the bolts maybe 10 bucks for the aluminum but we actually had the aluminum sitting around so we're at 65 so 85 bucks they wanted two thousand two hundred dollars for this setup if we bought it from the marine place after we get the front pulley we'll put this in bolt yeah, it down that's good uh blue bunny is the perfect thing for mixing <laughs> that's a lot of audiobooks yeah i don't do fiction i have only non-fiction oh nice let that dry for a while okay. Ready? yep there we go the washer's still on there yep broomier so it's the same thing in reverse putting the strap on to hold the flywheel yep and you all recognize Eric? You know, he can actually do something besides coatings. <laughs> <laughs> this is the third time I've been down. Doug, oh, man. I got a story to tell you later on about color. When I was 15, I got jammed under a motor. On a boat. I had something moved. Uh, you fell Well, I, I heard something move. Yeah. And the only other thing. Maybe it got past the guard down here on the bottom of the flywheel. I bet that's what it did. I bet it pinched through something here. Oh, that could be. We were pulling on because this here, this here didn't yeah. slide up and down. Because it is. This is what drew us. It goes over the alternator and down around the backside of the either before the tensioner around the main, back up to what would be the air conditioner, and back down around the water pump. That's it. Okay, so the hydraulic pump is in. Let me show you Lee's setup here. See, it's hinged over here, and it's a he. What he did is he drilled these nuts out so this bolt fits through. It uses a pin. We'll put a collar key on this end of it so it can go back the other way when you take the collar key out. This is where it hinges and tightens up the belt because the whole pulley comes down when you do this, and it's bolted in rigid down here. Has a little bend in it. And then there's two nuts, one on the bottom side of the plate and one on the top side of the plate. So once you get the tension right, you can tighten those up so that uh, hinge plate doesn't move anymore. The uh, pump gets bolted to that. Okay, an old half inch belt makes a great measuring tape because uh, we tried string and even electrical cord. Nothing gets as accurate as just cut a belt, wrap it back around, mark where it comes measure that length because it has to do with how deep that sits into the groove. Well, we've gone to get some V-belt this morning. Just belt. You like, you want some air? You good there? <laughs> now we snugged up the bolts that hold the pump to the rack and then you got to line up the pulley before your belts get tensioned and make sure that this face is in line with that one down there. And there's a little slop in these holes so that can be adjusted, and then tighten those down. Okay, the belts are back on, the strap is on. There's 90 pounds. Well done. I think it'll work. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh.